A passing commuter captured the first of two explosions in Brussels Central Station. Moments later, Belgian troops shot the attacker dead. The station's now reopened and police are searching for a motive for the bombing. The attack has been named in the Belgian media as Osama Zariou and described as a Moroccan national aged 36 who wasn't on a police watch list. He'd been living in a residence in the Molenbeek district of Brussels, where forensic officers discovered materials to make explosives. The Belgian authorities say they also found indications the bomb suspect had sympathies for ISIL. Molenbeek was the focus of a massive manhunt for suspects following the Paris attack two years ago. Belgium's state prosecutor said the attacker had been carrying a nail bomb hidden in a suitcase. The suitcase immediately caught fire. The man has left his luggage burning and went down to the platform in pursuit of a station master. Meanwhile, the bag exploded a second time more violently. This bag contained nails, contained nails and small gas bottles. The man then returned to the hall when he rushed to a soldier while shouting Alu Akbar. The soldier immediately opened fire and hit the individual several times. The alleged bomber later died where he fell. Government ministers arrived at an emergency crisis meeting amid heightened security. The Belgian Prime Minister praised the military and police for foiling the attack. He said there was no need to raise the national threat level to maximum. We will not let ourselves be intimidated by the terrorists. The message that I would like to repeat is that we will continue to live in the most normal way possible. We must be vigilant, we must heighten the capacities of security services. But we want to defend our freedom, we want to defend our democracy, we want to defend the rule of law by living as normally as possible. The attack is a stark reminder of the bombing of the city's metro and airport last March in which 32 people lost their lives. Since then, 10,000 heavily armed troops have been manning the streets of the capital while the risk remains high. This is the new normal. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Brussels.